गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन इन दिस सेशन द साइकोलॉजिकल चेंजेस ड्यूरिंग प्यूपेरियम इज बींग डिस्कस्ड यू ऑल हैव लर्न अबाउट द पोस्टमार्टम पीरियड और द प्यूपेरियम इट रेफर्स टू द पीरियड बिगिनिंग इमीडिएटली आफ्टर द बर्थ ऑफ ए बेबी एंड टिल सिक्स टू एट वीक्स पीरियड आफ्टर द डिलीवरी as you all have studied during this time the mother's body returns to pre pregnant state with the physiological changes there are some psychological changes also occurring during this period so the nursing care should focus on to help the mother and her family to adjust with these changes so that the transition to the parenting role will be much easier psychological adaptation during postpartum period as i mentioned earlier the mother naturally undergo psychological adjustments during the postpartum period reva rubin a nurse researcher and theorist who studied about the maternal adaptation to child birth during 1960s proposed three maternal phases during the postnatal period the knowledge about these three phases will help the nurses to recognize the maternal behavior after delivery this three phase transition process occur during the first few weeks of the postpartum period if there is any delay in the transition phase occurs it means that the woman is experiencing difficulty in becoming a mother some of the factors which affect the woman's transition through the maternal phases are discussed below number 1 medications example magnesium sulfate or analgesics that depresses the central nervous system leading to a sense of tiredness and a slow response to stimuli number 2 complications during pregnancy labor and birth or postpartum this can cause the woman's focus on her own health and well being examples of uh, some of the complications could be preterm labor uh, if the mother has any chronic illnesses or difficult birth like that the third one is cesarean birth cesarean birth can cause increased discomfort this will affect the woman's ability to care for her infant the next one is pain pain causes discomfort to the mother in such cases the focus of the mother will be to seek pain relief for herself rather than taking care of her baby and the next one lack of support if there is inadequate support from the family it may lead to maternal exhaustion and the next one is lack of financial resources if there is inadequate financial resources to the mother uh, she may try to obtain the basic needs rather than taking care of her infant as i mentioned earlier these phases occurring one after another and each phase lasts for a specific time period according to rubin the stages of maternal psychological adaptation are number 1 taking in phase number 2 taking hold phase number 3 letting go phase taking in phase or dependent phase the taking in phase is a period of dependent behaviors which occurs during the first 24 to 48 hours after birth and it includes the following maternal behaviors she is focused on her personal comfort and physical changes she relives and speaks of the birth experiences she adjusts to psychological changes she is dependent on others for her and her infant's immediate needs she has a decreased ability to make decisions and she concentrates on personal physical healing 
taking hold phase or dependent to independent phase the taking hold phase is the moment between dependent and independent behaviors this follows the taking in phase and it can last usually 3 to 10 days and sometimes up to weeks it includes the following maternal behaviors the focus moves from self to the infant she begins to be independent she has an increased ability to make decisions she is interested in the newborn's needs she gives up the pregnancy role and initiates taking on the maternal role the woman is eager to learn so it is an excellent time to initiate postpartum teaching she begins to like the role of a mother and she needs verbal reassurance that she is meeting her newborn's needs and and sometimes she may show signs and symptoms of baby blues and fatigue letting go or interdependent phase this is a moment from independent to the new role of a mother usually this phase lasts from 10 days to 6 weeks postpartum some of the maternal characteristics during this phase are she includes the newborn into her life she gives up the fantasies and accepts the newborn as he or she really is and she becomes independent emotional changes during postpartum period number one is abandonment during pregnancy and labor mother was the main focus and after delivery when the baby becomes the focus the mother may feel abandoned because only hours before she was the center of attention with everyone asking about her health and well-being now suddenly the baby is the chief interest the woman may feel confused by a sensation very close to jealousy shared responsibility for infant care can help alleviate these feelings next one is disappointment this usually happens when the child do not meet the expectations of the couple or mother it can be difficult for the mother to feel positive immediately about a child who does not meet their expectations you have to handle the child warmly comment on the child's good points like that this will help to avoid the disappointment overwhelmed taking care of the newborn baby is a new job for the mother and it begins soon after the delivery she may not be getting adequate rest and sleep with the new role because of all these she may become overloaded next one is let down being a mother is a new role for her sometimes she may be disappointed due to the challenges faced in the new role she may have a sudden feeling of sadness about no longer being pregnant weeping this means the mother may be tearful or crying this could be due to the result of sudden changes in life and in hormones this usually occurs between third and tenth postnatal day next one is feeling beat up the mother has just been through the most strenuous work of her life nearly every muscle joint and organ of the body has worked over time to push the baby out so she feels its effect from head to toe resolution it takes 6 to 12 weeks for the mother to recover from childbirth and the libido often takes some time to return assessment of emotional behavioral and social factors in the postpartum period helps the nurse to identify the family needs for support teaching and anticipatory guidance 
the nurse also assess the mother's knowledge and abilities related to self care newborn care and health maintenance and feeling about her body image